I finally get to tick a town that has been on my list for a very long time. We're in Mount Isa. We have chosen to stay at a caravan park. We would have loved to have free camped, but we were advised by the information centre that there's a little bit of youth crime going around. If we left the van, not sure what we would come back to. Staying at this caravan park, which is on the outskirts of town, it's really clean and tidy and quiet. And the caravan spots are quite generous, we think. And it was really quiet last night. We've got lots of things on our list and we're gonna just tick them off. We've come into the information center, which is absolutely incredible. We've bought the Mount Isa, what's it called? Uh, I think it's the Best of Mount Isa Tours. It's Best of Mount Isa Tours. There's five things included in it. It's $120 per person. The numbers swell. 30,000, she said. If it's Thursday, it's the Mailman Express and it's held on the 8th of August. It's some of the fastest non thoroughbred horses in Australia race down and they're time trialled. In the inaugural year, the maximum of 100 horses were trialled and narrowed to a final field of 10. And to this day, it's continuing to grow and getting more and more popular. Nine cents a litre for fuel. We could fill up for 15 bucks. Jeez. Actually, that might, oh, 36 cents, yeah, that would be after 66. Do you remember when they changed over to decimal currency in 66? No, I wasn't born. I was, I, was, I remember well. Yeah, sure, you I, do. I was still in nappies. Like <laughs> this fossil discovery centre, also in the information centre, was amazing. It not only showed you how they treat fossils that they find and how they look at them under the telescope and dissolve out the rocks but it also had a great display of the animals and the type of environment that existed in Mount Isa long ago. We've come out to Lake Mandora to the reserve. It's a wildlife reserve and it has a lake which is the water supply from Mount Isa. And first stop is the lookout. What a lookout it is. This is from the non-water side. And then when you come across, there's water and the big lake which is just huge. It was originally known as Lockhart Dam and now it's known as Lake Medora, if I'm saying it correctly. There is a sign here saying there is 43 different species of birds that can be spotted here. Thing is, no camping and the gates close, so they're open from 6 a.m. to 6 10 p.m. Um, pretty, pretty amazing place.
it is now half past four. At one o'clock, we actually entered the information center to do the hard times mining tour. It's only for miners though, so we're, you're a bit old, I'm right, okay. Uh -huh. It was just great. You have to um, dress in orange overalls with a hard hat with a light on it, and you actually go down, you get to hold some machinery oh. while it's working, they have a meal underground where they um, used to sit in their crib room. And we spent ages and we've learned everything and anything about mining. Can't go in any of the commercial mines here. They've put a stop on it, so they've set this one up. And you know, you really you go down in the shaft at the beginning of it, ride along, um, pulled by an electric engine to part of the mine and then you look at all the equipment, the lighting, how dark it is, their emergency things. It was all very interesting. No photos, no video, that's the only thing. You're not allowed to take anything down with you but it was well worth doing and we would highly recommend it. And we're off. We've had a great time in Mount Isa itself. We've seen lots of things. We missed out on the lookout at sunset. We got carried away at the concert, the caravan concert last night, chatting with people and missed the sunset. But that's the only thing. We're gonna stop in Coles on our way out and pick a few things up. And then we're gonna head out to an open cut mine to camp there for the night. I am so excited. We left Mount Isa this morning, stopped at the Coles and had a good shop. And we've driven 56 kilometers out of Mount Isa to Mary Kathleen Township. Now the township's all gone. It's just the foundations and you can camp on the foundations or near them. We've picked this little old campsite and we're gonna have a fire tonight and cook in our cook a leg of lamb in our new camp oven. Fingers crossed it works out all right. And then from here, if you disconnect, it's no vans, but you can drive up to the old Mary Kathleen open cup mine and have a look. It's a little bit of a, you have to have a four wheel drive. So we'll see how we go. While the Mount Isa caravan park that we stayed in was lovely and we got washing done and everything. This is really more our style and we're, just enjoying sitting back and relaxing. John's got the bonnet open because he just checked to make sure that there's no mice or anything after what happened to us. And if you don't know, after being in hay and wagga, we got home, our Prado was only six months old and field mice or rats had chewed through the main cable lube and through the firewall and did so much damage that it took Toyota about six to eight weeks to fix and it was a big thing. Like they'd never seen so much damage. So now we actually hang little peppermint squares in there cause the farmers have told us they hate the smell of peppermint. And we were just checked that they're all in there and they're velcroed to all different parts of the engine bay. Rewire it myself being, being an electronic technician who works for NASA. Oh, what a load of crap. Oh, yeah. Hey, take me five minutes. Yeah, right. <laughs> hey, hey. What? I met the guy who invented the um, window sill. Window sill? Yeah. Oh yeah, what did he say? Yeah, yeah, what a ledge. Haha, -ha, very funny.
is it? BBC, it says, whoever it is, charter, charters rain making plane for two months to try and fill the Corella Dam. Heavy rain falls some same month. Oh, first baby born in Mary Kathleen, named Mary Kathleen Henry. I'm bringing John to church. What's the first church that we're going to? Oh, uh, this is the Church of England. Church of England. And here we are at the Catholic Church, which is significantly bigger than the Church of England. The Catholics are generally more sinners than everybody else. Oh God. <laughs> St. Peter's Catholic Church, Goodness, this is spectacular. We are very glad that we came out here and we're going to spend the night. This is just something we've never seen before. I mean, the water is an amazing colour in itself, but then the rock face is just so different. Like, so rocky. Oh no, it's just different yeah, colours. Where, they, where they've dug it all in. Yeah. And you can clearly see the road, how it wind around. And if there hadn't been those two falls over there, we would be able to walk right around. I mean, we could probably scramble over them, but I don't think John's keen to be scrambling. No, I'm not going to scramble. No. But absolutely amazing. I don't know if you could swim in it if you got down there. Uh, it's a sign there's something back there saying warning, so I wouldn't. It's early, about quarter past seven, half past seven, and we're leaving this place. I would stay here for days and days and days. I think there's so much more to explore, but John has to be home back to work in two weeks. And we really want to go to Winton and Longreach and a few other places. So we're heading off and we've definitely marked this one to revisit because it is just a great campsite. And, you know, there's so many vans, but it's so spread out. Anyway, last night we did mostly pack up. Our roast lamb was yum, really yum. And the veggies in that oven are to die for. So we'll definitely be using the camp oven more and more. I will see you on the other side. You always tried to mount Isa. What? Tried to crack on Toowoomba. Is that your joke for this video? Because <laughs> it's bad. If anyone knows the 12th man, they'll know what I'm saying. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> 